Hello, I welcome you to this session of Python programming. In today's session, we will be discussing about Python Oracle connectivity. Now, to connect Python with Oracle, you need a module known as CX underscore Oracle. This module must be installed in uh, Python for you to uh, carry out this connectivity. You can simply use the command pip install cx underscore oracle at the command prompt to install this module. So let me just show you this uh, how it needs to be done. So in my system it is already installed so it will be giving a message that the module is already there. cx underscore and o capital. So it will tell me that this modu module is already installed in the Python that I have installed on my system. Okay, so it says requirement already satisfied. But once uh, you are installing it, uh, it will install uh, this module so that you can carry out your connectivity. Now let's get back to this uh, uh, presentation. Once this module is installed, you can import this module to start the connection process. And then the very first thing that you do is to create a connection object which would connect you to Oracle. And uh, once you've done, uh, you can check the version of the Oracle that is being used. And then uh, to carry out the various uh, uh, crude operations as we call them, uh, create, read, update and delete, we can create a cursor object and carry out the queries uh, as per our requirement. So uh, let me show this part to you. Uh, let me open up uh, Oracle session for you. So we can first import this module. Once imported, then I can create a connection object. Uh, the connect method uh, is to be used and uh, I should specify my username and password here so that I can get connected. And if the username and password is correct, then uh, you will be connecting to Oracle. Once they are done, you can print the version of Oracle. That connection would tell you which version of Oracle you are using and uh, says at 11.2.0.1.0 and uh, then again you can create a cursor object simply write uh, cursor is equal to so this cursor object is uh, created now you can uh, print this cursor object it will tell you that it is the cursor object on the connection. So uh, there can be multiple uh, cursors uh, on one connection, there can be multiple connections also. So getting back, now uh, in this uh, a series of videos of connecting Python with Oracle 11G, I will be discussing all these operations that is create, read, update and delete with you. We will start with the create operation, okay. I am sorry, I will start with the read operation because the create would be a simpler one. We will start with the read operation that is we will be uh, displaying information from the various tables by writing uh, a code in Python. And uh, then we will see how this read operation is uh, carried out, how the select statement needs to be used. Uh, we will be using execute method to display data along with the select statement. And then we'll see the various ways in which we can uh, use the select statement. So let me now take an example uh, for you uh, regarding this, the very first uh, example for our connectivity. So let me open up a code. Uh, yes, you can open this Q1. Now, this, uh, this is regarding connecting to Oracle and running basic queries. So you can see I have imported the, uh, the CX underscore Oracle uh, module. Then I have created a connection to my account with, the, with my username and password. And then I display the message which version of Oracle we are using. Then I am creating a cursor object and I am printing that cursor object. So to uh, use the select statement, first I write a select query. I have done it in two parts. I have written the statement separately and uh, called it in the execute method. You can write the query directly here also. Okay. So I have written select m number comma ename comma cell from m. So I am not mentioned any condition out here. 
and uh, this cursor will execute and all the rows which are returned by this select would be attached with this cursor and I can pass through this cursor to print those rows. This is my first query and in my second query I am uh, using like select star from uh, department table and ordering it by department number in descending order. So obviously as you know in department table the department numbers are 10, 20, 30 and 40. So they will be displayed in a descending order as 40, 30, 20 and 10. And uh, here I have used the execute method and uh, then I have used uh, parsing to print the values. And there is another method is a fetch all uh, statement method which you can use uh, uh, to display the values. Okay. And I have also displayed uh, like uh, what, what uh, type of data type is returned when you fetch all uh, or when you pass through, pass through a cursor. So you will see that it is a type is the list. We will see when we run this. And uh, once uh, the data has been displayed, we can uh, close the cursor object and then the connection object. So let's just run this code now. So we see, uh, let's see the outputs. Uh, first the connection is there, then print would say you are now connected to Oracle. So that is uh, this output, you are now connected to Oracle. Then this we have printed the cursor object. This is because of this print statement. Okay, And then this query is returned all the rows from the M table but only the columns M number E name and sal in the shape of a list as you can see here. Okay, now, This display is random, it is not ordered in any way. But uh, uh, the second uh, part of the second query that you have used is uh, order, ordering the contents uh, uh, by department number in descending order. So uh, when we use this, first we see that uh, this res which fetches all the rows is a list and then we when we print the values we can see that the values are printed in uh, descending order with the uh, 40 30 20 and 10 so this is how you can carry out the select operation we can make a few changes out here like uh, for example uh, i i can also write here some condition here so i may write here where sal equal to now we can say where sal is greater than say 3000 let's look for all the records where sal is greater than 3000 so now let's see how many rows are returned so only uh, one row is returned that is king that is the president oh, rest all are having a salary less than uh, 3000 so where clause can be done here and uh, in our next video, we'll discuss how we can uh, improve these uh, uh, conditions, how we can use uh, variable names here instead of uh, constant values, and how we can use the bind variables to make them more powerful and secure. So, thank you.